So today, in this video, we are going to talk about Turner Syndrome. It is a genetic condition which only affects girls. This was named by Dr. Henry Turner, who discovered it in the year 1938. This is a chromosomal disorder where one X chromosome is either completely or partially absent. This happens randomly based on how girls' genes are formed and is not inherited from parents and has nothing to do with the mother's age and environment, unlike other genetic conditions. Now, our DNA is this humongous blueprint of information on how to make a human which is usually packaged up nicely in the 46 chromosomes. These 46 chromosomes comes in 23 pairs. Each pair have one chromosome from each parent. One of these pair is called sex chromosome. It determines a person's biological sex and can be made with either two X chromosomes for females or X and Y chromosomes for males. Usually, each parent contributes one chromosome to each pair, so 15-15. Sometimes, one parent contributes one chromosome too many, which is called trisomy, or one chromosome less, called monosomy. Now, this monosomy is what happens in Turner syndrome. It specifically affects the X chromosome. There are three potential karyotype scenarios, most commonly an entire X chromosome which is missing, giving only 45 karyotype, which means the person only has 45 chromosomes. This can happen as a result to non-disjunction of sex chromosomes, and happens more frequently in sperm cells, but egg cells can also be affected. Non-disjunction means the chromosomes don't split apart. Following meiosis, one resulting cell ends up with both chromosomes and the other gets none. Multiply by two, and in a final result is two cells with X chromosomes and two cells missing in chromosomes. The non-disjunction can also happen in the second step. The first step goes great, both have chromosomes. But if they don't split in the second step, then the final result is one cell with an extra chromosomes and one missing a chromosome, then two with the right number of chromosomes. Now, if an egg cell combines with any of these sperm cells that have the missing chromosomes, then you'll get the Turner syndrome. Now, only having one complete X chromosomes impacts the female reproductive system by increasing the rate of loss of eggs By two years of age, none are left, essentially causing menopause before menarche. Without eggs, the ovaries fail to develop normally, becoming non-functional fibers, streak ovaries, which can't produce sex hormones. X chromosomes also carries genes for growth and development of tissues throughout the body. One of these is the short stature homobox or S. Hox and short. So, having a single copy of the S. Hox gene result in short stature. Signs and symptoms of the Turner syndrome. It vary depending on the age of the person and on how much of the second X chromosome is missing. Infants may be born with lymphedema or swelling due to the buildup of lymph in their hands and feet. Many have also lymph-related swelling of the back of the neck causing a cystic hygroma which eventually decreases as they age. This often they use extra skin in the neck called neck webbing which gives the appearance of a wider than normal neck. Coarctation of the aorta and bicuspic aortic valve can cause lower extremity cyanosis, which means a bluish or purplish on the lower limbs and can result to a congestive heart failure. Children with horseshoe kidney are more likely to have urinary tract infections. 
skeletal abnormalities become apparent aside from neck webbing. There would be short stature, broad chest with widely spaced nipples, low set ears and arms turn outright, which is also called cubitus valgus. And because of the streak ovaries, Turner syndrome is the most common cause of primary amenorrhea, which is when a female hasn't begun breast development by age 13 or hasn't had menarche by age 15. As a result, many females with Turner syndrome are infertile.